I've also seen, uh, I've seen that there is a predilection right now, the highest cases per capita in Oklahoma are in rural counties where I think we have some uh, increased resistance to, to getting vaccinated. So I wanted to talk to you for a minute about what actually happens to someone who is hospitalized with COVID-19. Most of the hospitalizations are related to a damage to the lungs. And as you can see from my uh, appearance on the screen, I've been doing this line of work for several decades. And the type of lung damage related to COVID-19 infection is the worst thing that I've ever seen. So they even understand now some of the molecular biology of this and the ability of the lung to repair itself after COVID-19 is the slowest of, of anything that I'm familiar with in terms of any kind of infection from viruses or bacteria. And so once you've got this, it's really, really bad. So most of the patients don't have to be put on the ventilator, but require real high amounts of oxygen. Some have to wear a pressure mask hooked up to a ventilator by mask. It's very, very uncomfortable. And many, many patients complain that this goes on and on and on for weeks. Some patients wind up being in this situation kind of on the brink and need, needing to have a tube put down into their windpipe and placed uh, on full mechanical ventilation and are on the cusp there for a month or six weeks. We've even had people who rocked along like this for a long, long time, eventually went on the ventilator and died. So this is a very, very bad thing. So uh, count on a very lengthy rehabilitation. If you had a lot of lung involvement, you may have to be on lung oxygen for a long time. If you had kidney failure, you may or may not be on permanent dialysis. And uh, your strength and weakness is going to be slow to return. If you're on the ventilator, it may be a six-month to nine-month recovery. There may be permanent uh, psychologic consequences like depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. And just think about the financial consequences. The most common cause of bankruptcy in America are your medical bills. And so even if you've got the best insurance possible, if you have a lengthy hospitalization for COVID-19, you may likely wind up in bankruptcy. So um, that's kind of what I would want to say to you about the consequences of being hospitalized for COVID-19.